Yes guys, today we are in Belgium and we are ready to climb La Roche du Facons, the last and most decisive climb of Liège Baston Liège. Let's go! Deck has made the move, he's got clear, now what can he do with it? I just took the junction for starting climbing La Roche du Facons and that's the place where all the teams are fighting for the position because they know that this climb is the last one of Liege Baston Liege and once they see that bridge this bridge with cobbles watch out woo, that means that La Roche du Facons has started the collocation is such an important thing here in La Roche du Facons because uh, it's a very short climb, 1.6 k's, but at 10% average gradient. The climb is like very steady, you'll see. I mean, there's not big, big slows, but all the time is 10%, 9, 10, 11. I mean, super constant. And after 250 k's of race, I mean, <laughs> La Roche du Facons hurts. Welcome to the forgotten part of Belgium. Welcome to the Ardennes. The Ardennes is a region of extensive forest and rolling hills where is located La Roche aux Faucons. People associated with Belgium, Cobbles, Tour de Flanders, or big names like Bonn and Henrik van Lloyd, but Belgium is more than that. In the west of Brussels, you find Flanders, the most famous part of the country, famous for speaking Flemish, for the good beer, and also for having keen cyclists. On the other hand, you've got the Wallonia in the east part of Brussels, is the French part of Belgium, and cycling is not that popular there. Nevertheless, they've got the Ardennes where take place such important races like Flèche Wallon or Liège, Baston Liège. But this climb is not that ancient on the, on the race. First time was climb was in 2008 and was a success. This is turning out to be a very, very hard climb indeed. So the riders were right. The surface is good, but it is quite steep. Look at the valley below now and Schleck is being joined by the ever aggressive Rodriguez. And guess who he's bringing up? He's bringing brother Frank. That's amazing. <laughs> There's still more to come across this gap as they go over the top, more or less, of the Rocheau Faucon. This last part of the Rocheau Faucons, <laughs> it's steep. And now I understand why uh, all the guys who want to, to win the Liège, they always uh, focus their attacks on this second part of, of the climb. I remember Andy Schleck. Big concentration on this man, full of confidence. What a strong bike rider. Luxembourg have never turned out brothers as good as the Schlecks. The pressure is now off. An unbelievably talented attack. Coming at the best part of the race when it was under pressure and they were all beaten. Well, that is real brotherly love. Yeah, this last part is also very mental because over 10% and he's straight. Have a look on that. We, I don't move. That's the top of La Roche du Faucons. There's a, a line here, a sign that we reach the top. We are not professional cyclists, so we don't need to go down <laughs> full gas like 
like them. So yeah, very enjoyable this time here in, in, in Belgium. You can have fun and you feel like you are a, a, a proper cyclist because it's raining, it's cold, but despite everything, we keep cycling and nothing stops us. Ciao ragazzi.